Hi, Scorpio. It's time for your love reading. I hope you're doing great. Sending you much love. Happy March. I hope this brings a terrific month for all of us in regards to love and health and happiness and wealth. For those of you that are new, if you like my style, if you like what I'm about, then go ahead and subscribe. This is an exclusive Scorpio channel. Make sure to smash that like, you guys. Turn on your notification bell to all, so that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Scorpio, I'm sorry that I did not do what I need to what I need to tell you video today. It is late here. It's almost 9 o'clock. I had a dentist appointment, and by the time I got back, so I'm figuring whatever I'm going to tell you now anyways is not going to be, you know, it's different when I put it on earlier in the day and you know what to expect. So I'll resume that again tomorrow, and I apologize for that. All right, if you are looking for a live tarot card reading, okay, from my hand-picked tarot card readers and psychics, uh, you just call up. It's my special that I'm doing because spring is almost here. You just say, I'm special, because you are, and uh, you get your reading discounted, okay? Toll-free numbers are for the USA, UK, Canada, and India. Um, if you want a personal love reading with me, you can only book it through my website at www.heartpassiontarot.com and pay for it there. All those readings are discounted as well. Everything else that you need is listed down below in the description box. All right, Scorpio, let's see what's going on in love. I call upon my angels. I call upon the white light to come into this reading, please, for Scorpio. What does Scorpio need to know in regards to love, please? Okay, hold on, Scorpio. Let me put them in the way that um, they came out. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. For Scorpio. And love, please. For Scorpio. I was just looking at the Seven of Cups. It's a little different. For Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. We need two more. One for the hopes and fears and one for the outcome, Scorpio. I love you, Scorpio. Okay, we've got the Six of Wands for the hopes and fears. Okay, and one in the outcome for Scorpio, please. And one in the outcome for Scorpio, please. Waiting for the outcome to come out. The Fool, I love it. Okay, so signs I'm seeing. Ah, oh, the Queen of Cups is on the bottom of the deck with the King of Pentacles with Justice. And the Queen of Pentacles. So when and when it comes to love, things will be fair between you and your person. This person is moving slowly towards you, okay? But unexpectedly, this person is going to make a decision. This person's from far away. They see clearly now. They see that you are their happiness here, okay? There's an offer of love coming in for you, but you don't see it yet. You will. You'll see things clearly. This person's going to want to work on things. Okay? There may have been some disappointment and heartache in the past. And somebody left you out in the cold. Somebody wants to do right by you, Scorpio. That's the message from there. Okay, let's go to uh, the reading. Signs I'm seeing. I have a lot of swords here. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I have Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. I have Pisces and I have Scorpio here and Cancer okay so we see somebody here Scorpio okay reverse the rules if you need to somebody's at crossroads here and they may be battling it out with several different individuals here okay I feel they're putting themselves first here Okay, they don't care if they make somebody cry. They don't care if they leave somebody out in the cold. Um, 
that's what they're doing or they're making a decision here they're at crossroads okay I also feel this person is understanding that they need to pick their battles uh, wisely okay like you know just because of the spur of the moment you feel a certain way you don't just cut somebody off so I don't know if this is you or them Scorpio in the recent past here you are showing up Scorpio let's see clarify death for Scorpio when it comes to love clarify death the six of cups a soulmate energy here clarify death the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Okay, so I feel here there was a soulmate connection. I feel you did offer love or they offered love to you. There was a lot of communication. Um, I feel you were invested to work on the connection, but maybe there may have been some disagreements here. Maybe some message uh, came out and or a message was sent, Scorpio, and maybe um, somebody was left out in the cold here, okay? Caused a lot of heartache, a lot of disappointment between um, you and this person. I feel you may have said something and maybe it was taken the wrong way or maybe you saw something or they said something to you and you took it the wrong way you took it to heart okay and I feel somehow it led to being left out in the cold heartache and just a sadness about the whole thing the good thing is though is the two of you still love each other Virgo could be um, yeah you're seeing this person as your happiness or they're seeing you as their happiness now Okay, but we'll, that's just a little insight here. Okay, even though that happened in the past, I feel spirits telling me this thing could be resurrected. The Knight of Wands, rods, right? But wands, okay, so everybody understands. Sagittarius energy. Someone very passionate coming in quickly. Taking fast action. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Five of Wands. The, the Three of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles. And the Emperor. Tell me about this Emperor. Okay, so wherever a situation seemed like it was not going anywhere, it was over. I see there's some kind of um, reconciliation happening here. The high priestess is here. It's kind of like you know about it. Maybe this emperor here um, has been shedding a lot of pain or releasing a lot of pain or going through a lot of pain. Um, I feel here... Um, there's a lot of overthinking going on about whether or not this King of Wands wants to give to this soulmate connection. That's what's going on right now. This person understands, a uh, Scorpio, that if they were, they need to walk away from their past, apologize, to have this brand new beginning with you, Scorpio. They love you. They see you as their happiness. They want to come charging in. They see clearly now. Oh my God, we have the King and the Queen of Cups here. No one's let go of anybody. There is distance, though, that causes a problem for the two of you. Okay? There is distance here. 
All right, let's keep going with the read. What's hidden from you is the page of wands. Okay. Page of wands. I'm also feeling, uh, Scorpio, that you may have had to, or you're going to, uh, come to the decision to fight for what you want, who you love. And you're not going to allow people to interfere in this connection because you know what this connection means to you. With the Page of Wands, it's a new beginning. Communication coming in, clear communication coming in for the two of you. From this King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Somebody sees you as the one. They're no longer stuck, Scorpio. They've got themselves unstuck from a situation. Now it's up to you. They got themselves unstuck from the situation because the same two cards that were in the middle just came out now. They were at crossroads, but they decided to defend their position or the connection. This person has clearly made a decision between two things. somebody here has been dealing with some really toxic energy and I feel um, it could have been a third person that was getting in the way of this okay someone's given this a lot of thought about this past connection and I feel this emperor here is bringing it to an end okay that's the judgment I feel also once this emperor brings this to an end, he wants to have a reconciliation with the person that he loves. And he's going towards his spirituality. We have the Hierophant and the Magician here. Okay? They're going to come towards you because they see you as their wish fulfillment or vice versa. Okay? I feel this person fighting for this connection. There will be a reconciliation between you and your person. Here's Scorpio. Could be dealing with an earth sign. Again, we have the king and the queen of pentacles here. Now, this queen of pentacles, Scorpio, or king of pentacles, may have another choice, but I see them wanting to be with Scorpio. They kind of have their back turned to this king of pentacles the tower comes in there is an offer of love there's an argument about possibly getting married or coming together um but i see there is a victory here eventually okay it's about letting go of being left out in the cold having the strength to listen to your intuition to make a decision here Wow, you got two coming in. Well, I don't know yet. Yeah, you've got um, a page of swords coming at you and a page of wands coming. Oh, no, sorry. You have a page of swords and you have a knight of wands coming towards you here. So one's a little bit younger, one's a little bit older from each other. There's two men here or two people here. Out of the two people, one's older than the other one that's approaching you. Okay. It's all about divine timing here for you to find your happiness. Here you are. You're showing up as the Empress. All right. That's what's hidden from you. The Seven of Swords. So somebody here has fought their battles. They're taking the rest of the swords so they don't get stabbed again. Okay. Could be you. Could be your person. And they're going for a victory now. Could be you. Scorpio could be the person that you're thinking about. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpio? Judgment. The Emperor. The Ace of Cups. The Chariot. The Hierophant. And the Magician. 
So, somebody's going for a victory here, okay? I feel whoever this emperor is, whether it's you or the person that you're thinking about, you got love coming. Somebody is coming towards you here. I see a wedding. I also see Taurus, Virgo, and Gemini here. Cancer here it may mean something to you. What about the Hierophant and the Magician? What about the Hierophant and the Magician here? And then Ten of Cups. Happiness. Working together. Whatever's been hidden will come out to the light. You guys will heal it. Okay? There is fast action. And it's all about getting out of um, whatever this anxiety is here. Hmm. Okay. So we have a pair. You're showing up as the king and queen of pentacles, so you both are abundant in your own right. So I feel you have a lot of options, but for you, I think it's that person in that cup that you want. The seven of cups, why is it here? The ten of pentacles. The guy down there. Capricorn energy. Maybe somebody has a lot of Capricorn in their chart. The High Priestess. The Page of Cups, Pisces energy. The Ace of Swords. The Page of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords. Let me just get a little bit more. The Two of Swords. The Two of Pentacles. Anything else on that? Okay. Just got the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck with the Ace of Cups. Okay. So we do see that there's some fear here on your behalf. Okay. Maybe because the person is younger than you. Maybe you feel like whatever they're offering, it comes, it goes, it comes, it goes. But I feel there's going to be some conversation here. Some kind of message that this Queen of Swords is going to get. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. And they're at crossroads, and they know they need to make a decision when it comes to their happiness. They may be moving towards you, Scorpio, but moving very slowly. But there will be a reunion between the two. Yeah, and we go from the Three of Cups to the Hierophant to the Two of Cups. So, for a lot of you, this will end up being marriage. Here's your emperor. Here's the world. Brand new chapter. Brand new beginning, right? After concluding some kind of um, chapter in your life, you're opening up to a new one. The star. Aquarius energy for your person. Why is it here? Clarify Aquarius. Clarify Aquarius. I mean the star. Clarify the star. Yep. They're making a decision of whether or not they want to offer you love, abundance, security, 
I see here there is a victory. Okay, but we also have somebody that wants to win at all costs. We do see with the Wheel of Fortune and the Chariot, we see things are moving forward. And somebody's coming in very quick towards you as the Knight of Swords here. We also have the Ace of Swords. So whoever is coming racing towards you is racing in with the truth. I feel you've been waiting for this. You also have the Knight of Cups. So the this once this um, truth is said that you've been waiting for, I feel you have the same person coming in with love. The Queen of Cups. That's you, Scorpio. So love is coming towards you here. Wow. With the Ace of Cups to the Queen of Pentacles. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So that cup she has in her hand, she's now offering to her queen. Maybe the two of them are not talking right now. Not because they fought. They're just not talking. This is a, a soulmate connection. The Ace of Wands with the Tower. The Queen of Swords. So I feel here that this Queen of Pentacles, whoever she is to you, Scorpio, or King of Pentacles or whatever, somebody from your past, there's a new beginning coming. And it's like you don't see them coming. Your person's no longer stuck. They're ready. Hey man came out in reverse. That's also the time of Pisces. We have a new moon in Pisces tomorrow. They've gotten themselves unstuck. And. Wow. The queen of. I mean the king and queen of swords with the hangman in reverse. So you both have gotten unstuck. There was something going on where the two of you were. Uh, not really showing each other how you feel. The Page of Swords is here. You're going to find out, or you're both finding out, that you are both missing one another. Things are going to change. You see how the two of them are looking at each other. The sun is out. You're both holding on to each other, and it's both, and it's just become evident to the two of you that you're both missing each other, and you both see each other as your happiness, and you're both holding on to one another. Yes, there is separation because of distance. You're both missing each other. There's heartache here, but I feel someone's going to reach out with a message. You're going to hear that somebody has left their past behind and they're moving forward. We go from the Knight of Wands to the Four of Wands. Here you go. With the Knight of Pentacles, the Emperor, and the Seven of Swords. You will have an apology. time. Somebody's clearly decided what they want. They want to give to this. They may come even to visit you. Okay. It's like one is on one side and the other one's on the other side. And you're both kind of waiting on each other. Whatever this communication that's coming in, you both are going to be able to relax now and release the burden, right? You're both looking at stuff that's gone wrong in the relationship, but you're both understanding that you, the two of you really love each other a lot. Okay? 
and someone's willing now to fight for this. They see you as their happiness. Okay. Let's go. You know you have other people, too, that you can choose from, Scorpio, I'm just saying. But this seems like the most solid one. Somebody who's got um, earth with uh, water. The Nine of Wands and your hopes and fears. Why is it here? The Nine of Wands, why is it here? For Scorpio, why is it here? So from somebody having their wall up, I feel they're going to apologize for the way they were acting. I think this person was just trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again. The world. So a brand new chapter is about to start. Okay? There's fast action communication going towards somebody who you've had a past life with and you want to build with them and you see them as your Ten of Cups. Someone's coming in quite quickly like the Knight of Shining Armor, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. Spirit says, no, you drop those. We didn't kick them out. All right, Spirit, sorry. There we go. Yeah. Someone's taking action towards yours. That's what they're thinking about doing. This King of Wands. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Okay. They're going to send a message. They miss you. And they've been healing too. They've been holding on to you. Somebody's traveling towards you here. I do see the two of you um, being lovers. Again, we have you, Scorpio, and we have the Hierophant. Whatever this is that's coming towards you is coming towards you from the distance. fool taking a leap of faith to a Scorpio why are we taking a leap of faith in the outcome why is the fool here the ten of cups so you are you're willing to take a leap of faith to go towards your happiness here or someone's willing to do that because they see you as their ultimate happiness I feel somebody now wants to put in the effort. This Queen of Swords or King of Swords. Okay, that, those cards wanted to be known. They came flying out on their own. It's divine timing. I also see marriage here for you. Okay, stability. It's marriage. Ten of Pentacles with the Hierophant is marriage. You may be dealing with somebody who has Pisces in their chart. But I feel whoever you're coming together with is very protective of you. And they know exactly what they want. Card down. Let me go get it. Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck, Virgo. The Four of I mean Scorpio. <laughs> it's because you're dealing with the Virgo. A lot of you are. The Four of Wands. The two of wands to the four of wands with the four of cups. 
with the Knight of Wands. Somebody is leaving their past behind. Okay. I feel somebody here is really wounded. And I feel there's a nurturing energy about you, Scorpio, that wants to heal this particular individual. You've been waiting for this person to come towards you here. I feel you also know what you want now. Okay. So there is a brand new beginning here for my empresses or emperors. All right. So that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. We'll take a look at this again tomorrow. Love and kisses. Bye.